Welcome to this eGrow plant diagnostic video. Hi, I'm Brian Wicker, Professor of Floriculture at North Carolina State University. In this video, we will focus on calcium deficiency of poinsettias. So let's get started. First of all, I would like to thank the Fred C. Glockner Foundation for supporting this project. Calcium. Calcium is the primary element used for building cell walls. When calcium is low, marginal leaf or brachnocrosis can occur. This can occur because calcium is taken up by the plant along with water, mainly through evapotranspiration. So any environmental conditions that limit water uptake and water loss through the leaves can also create deficiencies. We will be discussing recognizing calcium deficiency symptoms and management steps to avoid problems in this video. Calcium deficiency problems can appear on both the leaves and bracts. In the case of leaves, one will observe symptoms on the younger leaves that are completing their final 50% of expansion. This occurs because young leaves require a tremendous amount of calcium in order to grow and create new leaf cells. If calcium is limited, the cells along the margin can die. Then as the cells within the leaf interior continue to expand to the normal size, leaf curling is observed. This problem normally occurs in October when the shoots of pinch plants are rapidly growing and the plant has a high demand for calcium. If cloudy weather conditions coupled with high humidity occur, such as what happens in the eastern U.S. with tropical storms, we see a higher incidence of calcium problems. This situation is difficult to predict. Therefore, make sure the plants are fertilized with adequate levels of calcium from either the irrigation water or the fertilizer. If a week of cloudy weather is predicted, try to increase the airflow in the greenhouse to aid in evapotranspiration by the plants. Finally, calcium chloride sprays can be applied. Details are provided later in the video. Later in the season, brack edge burn due to limited calcium can also occur on some poinsettia cultivars. It is good to know that poinsettia breeding companies are actively screening for brack edge burn and susceptible cultivars are dropped. So problems with brack edge burn occur less frequently than they did 20 years ago. Symptoms of brack edge burn first appear along the leaf margin as necrotic spots. Under severe conditions, the entire leaf margin can turn brown. In contrast to this is the lower photograph with Botrytis edge burn. This disease problem still frequently occurs and can be confused with brack edge burn. Symptoms of Botrytis edge burn appear as a discoloration along the leaf margins and rapidly move inward. To prevent brack edge burn, apply calcium chloride foliar sprays. Be sure to use top quality technical grade calcium chloride. Lower grades of calcium chloride can contain impurities which will burn the foliage. Apply calcium chloride foliar sprays at the rate of 200 to 400 parts per million calcium. This is what we would like to avoid. And this photograph highlights brack edge burn due to an application of low-grade calcium nitrate. So what can be done to help prevent problems? If a deficiency occurs, make sure that you're applying sufficient levels of calcium. Use either a dark weather feed or calcium nitrate. If a problem occurs, consider foliar applications of calcium chloride. Please keep in mind that 201020 does not contain sufficient levels of calcium to support poinsettia growth. One needs to determine the amount of calcium supplied via the irrigation water, and if that's too low, then utilize a fertilizer which contains high enough levels of calcium. Also try to maintain environmental conditions within the greenhouse which encourages good water uptake by the plant. If conducting substrate tests, the target for calcium should be between 100 and 200 parts per million. Also be aware that potassium, calcium, and magnesium should be maintained at a 4 2 to 1 ratio. If the level of one of these elements is too great, it can have an antagonistic effect on the other two elements as seen in this figure. In this case, as potassium fertilization rates are increased, the tissue levels of both calcium and magnesium are negatively affected in decline. Fertilizing poinsettias with 200 parts per million potassium, 100 parts per million calcium, and 50 parts per million magnesium will help avoid problems. In summary, calcium is the main building block of plant cells. Target calcium fertilization rates are around 100 parts per million, and substrate level should be between 100 and 200 parts per million for adequate supply. 
Always encourage good air circulation during periods of cloudy weather and use calcium chloride sprays if needed. 